वो आएगी तो फिर कुछ मैं करता हूँ Assalamualaikum, uh, dear students. Uh, today's topic is smooth muscle physiology, and I'm going to talk. And I hope after the end of this lecture, the students will be able to understand to describe what is the micro anatomy of the smooth muscle, histologic features of the smooth muscle, what are the contents. of this muscle and how it is different from cardiac muscle and the skeletal muscle doubtlessly the functional anatomy and organization process of excitability and contraction characteristic of excitability and contractility excitation and inhibition inhibitions these are the major objectives of my this lectures functional organization and uh, uh, anatomy you are looking here types of muscle i have shown the skeletal muscle this is a skeletal muscle then this is the cardiac muscle and this is smooth muscle uh, well we have got three types non situated muscle involuntary muscle long fusiform in bundles or fasciculi i uh, looking here types of the smooth muscle basically smooth muscles are of two types single unit smooth muscle you are looking here the single unit smooth muscle and then comes the multi unit smooth muscle this is the histologic classification of the smooth muscle single smooth muscle single unit smooth muscle you are looking here visceral smooth muscles present in hollow viscera like gastrointestinal tract uterus ureter urinary bladder and respiratory tract so looking here all that well these are the viscera having the smooth muscle in their walls well certain features of the smooth muscle you are looking here well they have got a gap junctions they have got a desmosomes these the uh, the nucleus integrated this is arranged in large sheets has low resistance bridges gap junctions between individual muscles function in sensitive fashion and a contrast and contract as a single unit well sensitive is a very beautiful word to function and mass in a unit if multiple fibers function as a unit they contract simultaneously then it is known as a sensitive behavior and it is particular and it is specified with the smooth muscles and the cardiac muscles while this much property is not present in the uh, skeletal muscles has their own rhythmic contractility this is the myogenic tone has their own rhythmic contractility you are looking here again certain features rate of contraction and uh, determined by pacemaker region and nerve supply only modulates its activity contraction is stimulated by stretching involved in auto regulation of the blood flow yes you are looking here this is uh, the feature of the cardiac muscles these are the fibers these are the excite uh, the electrical current is going into the disc well multi unit smooth muscle made up of multiple units without interconnecting bridges non sensitive they contract singularly not in unit and location blood vessels epididymis was difference iris ciliary body and palio erector muscles this is the multi unit smooth muscle and these are the examples of that well certain features multi unit smooth muscle each generated by a single nerve ending 
contraction is neurogenic and each stimuli causes irregular tetanic contractions. You are looking here. This is the vessel, uh, the adventitia, then the medial muscle fibers, then this is the endothelium cells. This is a structure of a small artery. And these are the multi unit smooth muscle. And this is the unitary smooth muscle. This is a multi unit, many, many smooth muscle fibers. Unitary, single unit. Salient features of cane do not show spontaneous contraction nor pacemaker activity. Pacemaker activity is not there. No gap junctions. It means action potential cannot transform or migrate from fiber to fiber in a sensual manner. So excitation localized within motor unit do not respond to said threats. You are looking here the multi smooth, multi unit smooth muscle, autonomic neuron varicosities, autonomic neuron varicosities, these are the gap junctions. Do not respond to said threats. And then comes innervation of the smooth muscle, autonomic outboard pathways. You must be very much clear that the autonomic uh, nervous system supplies smooth muscles. Now supply autonomic both sympathetic and parasympathetic. Sympathetic causes the contraction and parasympathetic causes the relaxation. Preganglionic fibers, ganglion, postganglionic fibers and muscles. This is the, the scheme of how the autonomic nervous, you are looking here, well, this is the spinal cord. It has got a portion, the anterolateral portion, medial from which the fibers of the autonomic, they come out, and then the ganglia. The preganglion is not preganglionic fiber, then the postganglionic fibers, then the effectors. Effectors are doubtlessly the muscles. Looking here, the ANS autonomic nervous system that ANS stands for autonomic nervous system to neurons from CNS to effectors. Parasynaptic neuron cell body in the CNS, postsynaptic neuron cell body in the peripheral ganglion. And you're looking here, all that. Preganglionic fibers, ganglion, then the postsymplionic, postganglionic fibers. Well, neurovascular junction of the smooth muscle, yes, there is, because fiber of the nerve and the fiber of a muscle where they have got a juncture or connection that is known as a neuromuscular junction of the smooth muscle. Postganglionic fibers branch extensively and you are looking here. Well, this is the innovation of the smooth muscle. Neuronal network has beaded appearance due to varicosities. Varicosities contains chemical neurotransmitters, acetylcholine and norepinephrine. Yes, neurovascular junction of the smooth muscle, very much important. Nerve fibers do not end in the motor and plate, but releases its neurotransmitters in interstitial fluid near the... See, this is a difference. This is a difference. Motor and plate is a characteristic of the skeletal muscles. These are the varicosity. Parasympathetic nerve fibers, these are the varicosities, these are the bulbs where the neurotransmitters are present. If this is the sympathetic fibers, this is the parasympathetic fibers, it's a smooth muscle. So nerve fibers do not end in motor and plate. Motor and plate is the character of the skeletal muscle but releases its neurotransmitter in interstitial fluid near the muscle fiber. Well, this is the interstitial fluid here, yeah, this is the interstitial fluid. And Varicosities release their neurotransmitters. Neurotransmitters can be the acetylcholine, it can be the norepinephrine. It then diffuses in muscle fibers, then they will come into muscle fibers and causes activation. So single stimuli will not cause activation of entire muscle. Multiple stimuli are required for the activation of these smooth muscle cells. Excitatory junctional potential or in hip junctional potential. Either deep, you are looking at the calf. This is a time, this is the voltage. You are looking here, either depolarizing or 